Okay, so what I'm showing here right now is I'm showing the two barracks devices uh, set up in a peer-to-peer -peer mode with the VoIP phone, okay? Um, this device is an Anunsacom 100. This device here is an Anunsacom 200. You see I got external power to power the 100. The 200 is PoE, so I have just a PoE power right here. Um, and then the phone, of course, is PoE, the VoIP phone. And what, what you can do with this, it's cool, is in peer-to-peer -peer mode, I can actually speed dial by the last octet of IP addresses on the subnet. I have this device set up as dot one, this device set up as dot two, this one's dot three. Uh, so I drop the line and I hit uh, pound, two, send, boom. You'll see the Anensicom, it auto answers right away. Ho, 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 ho. Now if I had the microphone set up onto here, you would just hear a constant feedback loop right now because these are all sitting here together. Um, but I wanna show you how to set this up for a good outdoor intercom setup uh, really well. Now, right there, I powered that speaker right from the amp in this box, and you can do that with just any 8 ohm or 4 ohm horn speaker, all right? But there are line level inputs and outputs on the other side of these boxes. Now, with the 200 over here, it's pinouts like you see, and on the 100, it's actual RCA jacks in the front. And I like that, it gives me a good solid connection to it in there. But so if this speaker, per perchance, with the, amp with the amplifier that's built into the Anunsicom, if that speaker is not strong enough, you could always take the audio out from the front here, put it into an amplifier, and now you could put 50, 100 watt, whatever horn speaker power you think you need for your intercom. Um, the microphone connections to both these devices, these are set up for an Electet style microphone. All right, so it's a 2.7 volt microphone that connects to there. And a lot of times on some of these outdoor intercoms, that's not good enough. You can't run that far enough. Where are you gonna put this outside where it's not gonna get destroyed? So what I like to do is have people uh, source their own good outdoor uh, microphone for these applications. And then what they can do is just bring it out to line level, like I'm showing here. I have a music on this and I'll demonstrate in a second here, but. Uh, so, so you'd have a microphone that gives you a line level output then. A lot of the 12 volt DC microphones, they can be converted at the source of uh, power back over to line level and then put this into the box. Um, and then that way you can separate your microphone from your speaker and it's going to give you a really good uh, duplex communication where you can talk and listen very well and also give you control from the phone. Now. When I call into this device, or here I can demonstrate to you, here's, there's contact inputs, there's two contact inputs on these devices, as long as, as a relay output, in case you wanna use DTMF to open up a door or a gate. But if someone shorts the contacts, okay, it'll call into the phone, all right, and then I can uh, answer it. Now what I have here is I've got a music on here. So you can turn it up or down. And what I've done here is, is I've, I've muted my talking so that I get just all the audio coming back now from the line level input on this device. See, and, and what that'll do is I'll teach you in the setups how to gate your audio really well, or you can even just use the, the mute button, okay, if you wanna have a push to talk communication. Okay, because you can you can gate the audio from this side, the master side, using that mute button on the talk. And I'll explain that further in my setup video when I come back to it at the end here. Now, one more thing I want to point out is if you want to put the boxes completely outside, these standard nutscoms, they do need to be in a climate controlled room. Now if you want to, if there's just no way for you to do that, and where it is you want to put your outdoor intercom, there is no climate controlled room. We do have a model. This is the Anunsacom 155 model, and this is made to go fully outside. Now, you'll have to look, it has different connections for the Ethernet and the, and the and audio. These are called M connections, for the, again, because they're fully weatherproof, so you'll screw them on there. But if you do want to put the intercom totally outside, we do have a model for that. It's the Anunsacom 155. And also, too, if you want to get much more complicated on the phone side, so you want more phones to take more calls from intercoms, 
or you want to turn this into more like a phone system managed thing, then you just add the PBX to the setup. Right now, I'm just trying to show a simple peer-to-peer -peer connection between all the, the devices in the phone. But if you want to have a much more complicated where you're calling cell phones and multiple phones at a time from an intercom, then you want to use a PBX in this setup. Now, I'm going to show you the firmware pages of these devices so you can see how it all works.